out at socket 70, 75 at 4 gigahertz. If you like enough, you can squeeze 4.2 on the air cooling or, the, or water cooling, cooling in the home environment. So, um, without the minus temperature on the CPU. So, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm running 3 gigahertz, so I'm gonna go 3.2. So let me set 400 uh, on the front side bus. And it's gonna give me 3.6. Well, that's too much. I suggest you go 200 megahertz up. So let me 6360. 3.2. That's around 3.2. That's fine. What I'm gonna do now, as I can see, the memory, the system memory speed goes to the 14400 megahertz. That means that my DDR memory running right now, not right now, but when I'm gonna say save, save the bias, it's gonna to CMOS, it's gonna run fourteen hundred forty megahertz, and that's over my manufacturing standards. And since I'm not gonna overclock the memory in this tutorial, I'm gonna tell ya it's too much. I need to keep it thirteen thirty three or lower than thirteen thirty three. So I'm gonna go ahead and play with my multipliers. Um, and as you can see I'm going to set something close to 1333, which is the lowest 1153. So that's nice. Everything else, yes, you need to check your PCI Express clock and try to keep it all the time at 100 megahertz. If you will keep it higher or lower than that, uh, you can mess up um, your stability on your video card, on your PCI Express um, devices. And the computer might not boot or computer just might not have the stability and also PCI clock it's uh, all the PCI uh, slots make sure that you're keeping it at 33 megahertz not higher than 34 megahertz uh, if it's going to be higher or lower than 33 megahertz uh, between 33 and 34 then um, it's going to bring unstability to your PCI devices. Any PCI devices plugged in into all the PCI cards, it's not going to function all right. All right. Spread spectrum, a lot of things like this and uh, um, uh, a lot of uh, motherboards, uh, try to keep it disabled. It's not, you can keep it disabled. All right. So, we discussed so we need to make sure that we have the voltage 1.5 I suggest you to keep it like this and then you can overclock you can have a decent overclock then you need to have your um, memory speed not higher than the design by the manufacturer you need to have PCI Express clock 100 megahertz and PCI clock at 33 between 33 to 34 megahertz if it's like this we're gonna click F10 or save and exit and it's gonna click Y and enter it's gonna save uh, the settings and it's gonna boot and, and my computer is gonna boot couple times just because I uh, didn't disable uh, the recovery of the overclocking It might boot a couple times. It's probably gonna see it for now. So it's booting a couple times, it's checking everything and then booting it again. It's just extra function. Some motherboards not gonna have that. Uh, and some motherboards is gonna boot immediately. Also, if your computer is not booting or you're restarting and it's not booting, restarting not booting, then uh, you probably uh, if, if you're like at 200 megahertz or 400 megahertz up from your manufacturing uh, speed you probably um, end up in some some somewhat called FSB hole so try to reset the CMOS and go 200 megahertz higher let's say if your computer uh, CPU clock is 3 gigahertz and you went to 3.4 and it's somehow it's you know not booting try to set it at 3.5 
or 3.6 and boot in. And if the computer doesn't start, open your manual on your motherboards and uh, find out how you can clear the CMOS by connecting a little bridge on your motherboard physically with a little switch. Alright, so it's stable. So what you're gonna do now by clicking delete button uh, you went to the BIOS again after it successfully boot in and you, then you're gonna click F10 immediately and you're gonna boot the windows. Boot the windows, you can boot the windows and you can uh, play for 10-15 minutes. Try to search the internet and play your favorite game or um, I'm going to discuss after this tutorial, I'm going to discuss um, how to get the tools and how to uh, check the stability of the decent overclocks. So you need to go and play your favorite game or uh, download the futuremark.com at the website. futuremark.com. Download the 3 Mark 2006. It's a little benchmark and you can download one for free, a demo version and install it and run it. Run it one time if it's not gonna shut down, if your computer not gonna shut down or, or it's not gonna freeze up, then restart your computer, go to the BIOS and click, go to the next 200 megahertz hill. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna set it to 3.4 and double make sure that my memory at the speed not fast that by the manufacturer my PCI Express clock my PCI clock the way it's supposed to be F10 we're gonna save it I don't care what is people saying but 1.5 volt it's uh, pretty uh, safe I saw it during I already have five core to duo processors and as you can see we can just 3.4 perfectly put in and I just restart the computer because I was booting to the windows we're gonna boot it into the BIOS and then 3.6 and then 3.8 and just go like this bias set save bias again save reboot bias again F10 save windows windows table come back 200 megahertz off save bias reboot bias save reboot windows S in windows stable running your uh, game or 3d mark restart bias again another 200 megahertz overclock by 200 megahertz and find what is your maximum and also 3.4 every time you overclock and check at the PC health status what is your CPU temperature just because I set 1.5 and 1.5 is going to be I'm not suggesting you go over 1.5 1, 1 just go to 1.55 I, I would suggest you on air or water cooling for Intel Core to Duo or Intel P4 CPUs is the maximum don't go higher than that so um, what I see 51 Celsius all right, that's 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 fine because I set uh, my voltage pretty high, and uh, it was one point two 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 five zero volt, and I set it to one point five five. I mean one point five zero volt. As higher you setting your voltage, you're gonna gain uh, more heat, and you're gonna gain, and as higher you setting your frequency, you're gonna gain again more heat on your CPU. So make sure that this temperature not gonna go to uh, 70 Celsius. In if in the bias on core to duo it's gonna go to 70 Celsius, lower your overclock and lower your voltage.
and in the Windows I'm not suggesting you run your uh, processor higher than 90 degrees on Celsius when it's 100% low or when it's low why because um, I was running a lot of processors at 90 uh, degrees Celsius even this one I was running at 4.2 gigahertz at 90 degrees Celsius it's fully loaded 